Methods of Assessment For many parents, the decision of whether or not to enroll students into school-based speech therapy or privately practice therapy is challenging. Speech-language pathologists work as part of a team alongside teachers, counselors, social workers, and parents when in a school setting. Because school-based speech therapy is run under state guidelines and funds, the process of assessment and qualification is more strict. To qualify for in-school speech therapy, students must meet the state's criteria on a language testing and speech standardization due to such requirements. Some students may not be assessed in an efficient time frame or their needs may be undermined by criteria. For a private clinic, students are more likely to qualify for therapy because it is a paid service with more availability. Clients and patients. Speech language pathologists work with clients and patients who may present with a wide range of issues. Infants and children. Infants with injuries due to complications at birth feeding and swallowing difficulties including dysphagia, children with mild, moderate or severe genetic disorders that adversely affect speech, language and or cognitive development including cleft palate, Down syndrome, D. George syndrome, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, autism spectrum disorders including Asperger syndrome, developmental delay, feeding disorders, including oral motor deficits, cranial nerve damage, hearing loss, craniofacial anomalies that adversely affect speech, language, and or cognitive development, language delay, specific language impairment, specific difficulties in producing sounds called articulation disorders, including vocalic R and lisps, pediatric traumatic brain injury, Developmental Verbal Dyspraxia, Cleft Palate, like for part three.